We have a 1944 Ford Ferguson and we have a 2018 New Hall T7210. First of all, the Ford Ferguson was the result of the handshake agreement between Harry Ferguson and Henry Ford. And it was the world's first mass produced tractor with the Ferguson system converging three point hydraulic linkage. You have two lower links here and here, and an upper control link here. And of course, then all controlled by the touch of a finger to raise and lower the limpings and set the depth. They were built in the Ford Motor Company at Detroit, Michigan factory, and over 306,000 would be built. When production ended, Ford would continue. They actually introduced a new version of these tractors called the 8N for, for 1948, although they appeared in 1947, that was the model number of them, and it used Harry Ferguson's intellectual property rights. So there was a big court case about that, and eventually the Ford Motor Company agreed to pay Harry Ferguson a considerable amount of money and agreed to stop production of the 8N in 1952. But Ford would continue to build versions of their tractors when the the rights to the what's called the Ferguson Master Patent, which is the invention of the modern tractor, it's celebrating the centenary this year. Um, Harry Ferguson was the first person in the world to think about the tractor, not just to pull implements, but be a unit. And in our words, implements could be quickly changed. So you could put on, say, a plough or a grubber or whatever, and swap over within a minute or less and to a different implement and all be controlled with the touch of the finger and all have automatic depth control. So that was all invented by Harry Ferguson uh, a century ago. So Ferguson and Ford would go their separate ways and Ferguson eventually sold out to Massey Harris in 1953 and Massey Harris became Massey Ferguson in late 57 and Massey Ferguson would be the biggest tractor manufacturing factory in the world at, at, uh, at Coventry, Banner Lane that was owned by the, the Standard Motor Company at one time. But sadly, in 2002, Massey Ferguson ended production in the United Kingdom. It was always Harry Ferguson's great hope for man tractor manufacturing, if not in Northern Ireland, at least in the United Kingdom. So sadly, as far as Massey Ferguson's concerned, and all, the production now is finished in the UK. So we come now to Case New Holland, Industries, and we have say in this 2018 Ford or New Holland T7 210. These is one of the few tractors now that remains current production in the United Kingdom. I think at Basildon Factory for, for New Holland they build about 100 a day, somewhere around that. So that's the last volume tractor manufacturer in the UK. But New Holland, of course, is all part of the ancestry to the little Ford Ferguson from the Ford end. So it's good to see them continuing on with production in the UK and accepting their heritage and how important that is. And of course, New Holland still has the Ferguson system, three point converging linkage, as does every tractor today. All have three point hydraulic linkage. And this tractor, of course, you've got the modern features of a cab and all. And uh, the front wheels is larger than the back wheels of the Ford Ferguson. And look at the steps up to the cab and all. Uh, a lot of computers and high-tech uh, equipment. 210 horsepower. This tractor's also got fitted with a, a front three-point linkage. So you can actually, instead of just pull the plow, you can push a plow at the front as well and pull a plow behind. So very advanced tractor but the two have joint heritage. Thank you.